The glorious white unicorn looked particularly splendid in her rubber boots and coat as she surveyed the smashed artifacts and stationery with distaste. Terribly gaudy, wouldn't you say, Golden Blood? The marble is positively chilly. Really, what were they thinking? She asked as she tossed her magnificent purple mane. His chest burned horribly as he gasped for breath. Likely, that wouldn't be a quarter mile underground. I nearly fell on my face as the memory flashed out again. The moats continued on its way. I coughed for breath, feeling blood dripping out of my nose. Memories. They're memories? I said as I looked back at my friends. It didn't matter what they were now. Lacuna looked as empty as a doll. Rampage looked even more unstable than usual. Her cutie mark shifting so rapidly, it simply looked like a smear. P-21 hobbled on three legs. And glory. I stared as the skin holding onto the wings slowly stretched like taffy and then broke, the wings splashing softly into the water beside her. I stared at her, standing in a daze. She didn't know. Glory? I rasped, blood dripping down my chin. Your wing. She looked at it lying there beside her. She slowly picked it up and held it in her hooves. It fell off, she said in a whimper, like a foal whose favorite toy had broken. She started to shake, at first with tears, but then she threw back her head, laughing hysterically. It fell off! It fell the fuck off! And with bloody tears, she laughed and sobbed at the same time. We're going to die. We're going to die. Please let us fucking die. I turned to face her. A light drifted across my horn. We're safe. We're safe. Sweet Celestia, we're saved. The earth pony mare I was in sobbed in relief as she hugged her children. Green fields of magic rose up in all directions around the city and the bombs flashed against them without effect. Then, her nose began to bleed, her foals began to wail, her sight dissolved into a red slurry as she, her body collapsed, but the scream went on and on and on. We... we're not going to die, I gasped, coughing and spitting up more blood. I felt like my heart was going to stop at any moment. Just... Keep walking, Glory. There's a way out. There's got to be. I'm not even a Pegasus anymore. I'm not Enclave. I'm not anything. She wailed as she broke into bloody tears, hugging her wing to her chest. I used my magic to pull her mane down and make her look at me in the eyes, not daring to try and hold her for fear that I'd drop scotch tape. Listen to me. Listen to me. I croaked as I stared at her, in her eyes stopping her sobs for a moment. Wings don't make you glory. The Enclave doesn't make you glory. Not giving up. That's what makes you glory. Keep going makes you glory. And you have to keep going. We're going to get out. P-21 just slumped, and I wondered if his leg would drop off as well. He kissed me. He kissed me. I shook and suddenly puked a torrent of blood, and worse, into the water at our hooves. All these artifacts will have to be removed at once, the unicorn mare said as regally as we walked between the broken buildings. We don't need any more protesters or resistance on trying to get the new zebra law implemented. Golden Blood walked after her, rasping and coughing. These ruins are proof that the zebras were here first. Something happened to bury these ruins. They should be investigated, Rarity. Rarity simply sniffed disdainfully. Oh, very well. So these artifacts are collected, catalogued, and sent to that ghastly building that they were erecting up above. Remember, these artifacts are supposed to be tippity-top secret. Goldenblood smiled thinly. But of course... I drew another shaking breath as I stared at P-21, forcing myself to grin. You're going to... You're going to kiss him again. And... And you're going to show him your real cutie mark. And... 
And you're going to do... Do whatever cults do. And you're going to be happy. But you have to keep walking. You hear me? Keep walking. Rampage collapsed, her body shaking and murmuring. The tiny motes seemed to be drawn to her, slipping in and out of her tiny striped body. With each one, her cutie mark flashed. A bird, a bike, two horns. I reached down and bit her mane and started to drag her further between the ruins. What's going on? A Pegasus buck demanded as he stood before a panel of equipment. What's happening? Cloudsdale. Maripony. Manhattan. They've been... There's been an attack, sir. A mare in an army uniform set in shock. Raise the seal of shields immediately! Seal the city! I want this city sealed! The buck demanded as every pony worked furiously. It was a green flicker. There's not enough power for the shields. They're only at 10% capacity. Where's the rest of the power? He charged to a terminal, smashing buttons furiously with his hooves. When a picture came up, at a smirking green image of a pony, the pegasus roared. Horse! You bastard! We need those shields! Now! Horse looked perplexed. Why? Is something happening, sir? The zebras. It's an attack. An all-out attack. We need more power. Well, the reactor's on standby. I can increase the in output at any time. Do it! Mama. Rampage sobbed. I want my mama. Where's mama? She gasped as I dragged her through the water. She suddenly stiffened and purred. I'll help you find your mama. She spasmed and shook. You have the right to remain silent. Then she sobbed once more. Apple, bloom. Step, step, step. We walked through those broken ruins. Step by step. Broken ruins. Broken ponies. Going on because we had to. A moat slipped through my horn. Rarity stood facing me, and I knew that rasp. I know what you have, Rarity. I know where you got it, and I know what it is. I felt my lips curl into a thin smile. And I know what you're going to do with it in Hightower. You know nothing, she hissed, as they stood together in the garden atrium of the Fluttershy Clinic. But there was fear in her pretty blue eyes. Leave me alone, or I'll destroy you. She started to step past him, but he blocked her passage with a wheezy laugh. Is it starting to talk to you? Is it promising you secrets? Offering you ideas? Golden Blood whispered in that horrible rasp. I know it didn't talk to Celestia. I know Celestia gave you the benefit of the doubt that you'd try and destroy it. I don't think Luna would be so understanding. I didn't think it possible for a white mare to look paler, but somehow Rarity pulled it off. You can't have it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I've got my own sources. You might have snatched it before I could retrieve it from Zebratown, but it was hardly the only one of its kind. He said with a sure smile. Uncertainty was etched in her face. What? What do you want, then? Anonymity. I want you to wipe, hide, and bury every story about the OIA. You do that, and I will forget about just what you have. And do you have one? She asked in return. He just smiled. Of course not. That would be treason. And we're not treasonous ponies, are we, Rarity? Step, drag, step, drag, step. I stared at them, my friends. I'd led them here. I was responsible. I was to blame. Call it self-centered. It was. Call me a selfish cunt. I am. I got them killed. I cost Gorori her wing. 
I was the one responsible. Is this it? The dealer rasped softly in my ear. I choked my reply, blood dripping from the corner of my mouth. Is this when the wasteland breaks you? I... I can't... I gasped, feeling lightheaded from all the blood I was losing. This was it. This was when the wasteland kills us. Take two more steps, he said softly. I can't, I whispered. I can't move. I think my heart stopped. Your heart is too strong to quit. Now take two steps. Why? I asked as I sat in the cold water. Why the fuck do you care? I asked as I shook. You're not real. The old buck smiled at me. Just because I am not real doesn't mean I do not care. Now, take two more steps. Slowly, I took one step forward. Slowly, I took another. And saw the elevator sitting right around the corner. Together, we climbed onto the steel platform, one by one, broken, bleeding, dying, alive. I reached over and slapped the talisman, and then my rubbery weak legs gave out, and I collapsed next to the limp scotch tape. The machine gave a grind, then slowly, and faster, and faster, we began to rise. Footnote. Level up. New perk added. Forged in the hoof. You've sucked up more enervation than any pony should live through. You suffer 25% less enervation damage, and your healing items decay half as fast while in your possession.